Before I got to Europe, I had never seen an aeroplane in real life. High above, they twisted and turned like flocks of birds dancing. I have nothing left to bet, you idiot. The plane. <laughs> That's rich. Uh -huh. Oh, why the hell not? I've got you beaten anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. What have you got? Hmm? <laughs> Wipe your mouth, Blackburn. That wasn't supposed to happen. But you know, I'll be taking that plane anyway. What the bloody hell? You lost, I beat you. Mm. The thing is, Rackham, it's a very beautiful aeroplane and you're kind of a jackass. I beat you fair and square, goddammit. Stay the hell away from my kite. <laughs> oh, you bastard. You can't do this to me, I beat you. I beat you. My name's Clyde Blackburn. I'm a pilot and a gambler. I'm George Rackham. I'm George Bloody Rock and listen to me! You bastard! Keep off my aeroplane! If you asked me to name my biggest fault, I'd have to tell you. I'm just not a very honest person. Welcome aboard! I'm Wilson, by the way. You must be George Rackham! Sure, I'm Rackham. I'm your guy. Let's get this kite up in the air. You're George Rackham, son of the 4th Earl of Windsor. That's right. Hip, hip, go, man. The Bristol was everything it was advertised to be. A pure joy to fly. It was a crisp, sunny day, and everything would have been perfect had I only been alone. Keep 
to keep up with him.
Captain! Giving her the gun might have thrown something off. Repair what you can from up front. More Jerry's! I see him! Hang on to your knickers! accidentally discovered where Germans were keeping their munitions for half the Western Front. And Wilson's pictures would help HQ launch a major assault. There was just one problem. I'm not sure about this. Oh, come on. We did a great thing. We'll get medals for this. We weren't even supposed to be there. When the commander sees these pictures, he won't care. We did a great thing. We can do it again. I'll make you a deal. If we pile up on this, then you need to promise me that you'll get me back in one piece. Sure thing. Promise. I need your word. Okay, I promise. Stay here. And don't cause any trouble. You know, I did like the guy. But he was kind of naive. Sir, you might want to take a look at these. Saints alive, your man must be one, one hell of a path. Before we knew it, we were back in the air. Our mission? To clear the way for the bombers so they could blow that fortress all to hell. First, we'd have to down the barrage blimps. Jesus, imagine being a lookout on a blimp. Bad luck, Fritz. Next, we'd have to deal with their anti-aircraft trucks. The assault was already in full swing when we got there. We'd have to deal with all those defenses, then escort our bombers to their target when they arrived. Tall order. But victory here could change the course of the whole damn war, they said. Safe to say, Wilson was less than thrilled. Now we're actually doing this, it feels really dangerous. Trust me, and buckle yourself in, baby. Now we're actually doing this, it feels really dangerous. Trust me. And buckle yourself in, maybe. Down those blimps! Clear the way for our bombers! Easy enough. 
Line up. Watch my back.
The bird was busted. She buried her nose in no man's land a half mile due west of where I went down. Wilson, the poor sap, didn't make it out. But that was his bad luck. I had more pressing problems. I'm just gonna say I've had plenty of practice moving quietly. Out the back of bars, bedroom windows, you don't need the details. Anyway, once those Germans were gone, I put my skills to work, heading west towards the British front, quiet as an alley cat. Between me and the British front were German trenches and German guns. Oh, and half the population of Berlin, all spoiling for a fight. Lucky day. The Brits must have been sitting down for tea and crumpets instead of shelling the Germans. Still, I had to get through to our side of the line before the gun started up again.
dozen German machine guns at my back kind of encouraged me to keep my head down. No Man's Land was a maze of barbed wire, dead bodies, and debris. But I held my course. Did anything survive the crash that might be useful? Rackham, are you? Son of the fourth bloody Earl of Windsor. <laughs> How naive do you think I am? Oh. Uh. Let's get out of here. Losing a lot of blood. I didn't have much time to get him back alive. Uh, really bloody hurt. No man's land. See him. The Germans aren't really known for giving up. They did everything they could to catch us. Wilson said I was a no-good, lying son of a bitch. I brought him home because I think he's probably right. And I hate that fact more than I can tell you. How is that man true, no man's land? This guy's a bloody hero! No, he's nothing of the sort. He's a cheat, a thief, and a liar. And he'll answer for his crimes.
Off to the farm, are you? I'm gonna speak up for you, you know, at the court martial. It might do you some good, it. but thanks. Wilson, with me. I need a gunner. Over here. I'll, I'll do it. Rackham, let me help. You don't deserve to fly. Wilson, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die up there. Come on, let's do this. You sure you don't want to sit this one out? Not a chance. You owe me a bloody medal. All right, I got this. Are you with me? Of course I'm bloody with you! Mike is on their way! I'll cover our tail! Landed on our six! Turn hard! Turn hard! Shit!
got trouble. Oh no! Don't you be getting any ideas! You did say you wanted a medal, didn't you? That blasted airship will be overloaded soon! One of many more targets. Hang on!
это? my story. A selfish man who risked his own life to save another, and in doing so, found he was saved himself. Things get mixed up in wartime, though, and you'll probably hear other versions. A rogue pilot who stole a plane, who killed his buddy, then lied, cheated, and murdered his way across half the Western Front, only to escape court-martial in the chaos of an air raid. But don't listen to any of that. What you heard from me is the truth. I wouldn't tell you if it wasn't. Would I?